broke the axle shaft in the back of Squatchy and twisted another one. And we had already twisted one last year. So the 10 bolt, I've kind of put exceeded the limits of it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was good for four years other than that one twisted shaft last year but after breaking this one uh especially being in three pieces which i think was already twisted we decided it was just uh finally time to go ahead and uh put the one tons that we've been had stuck back under it so that's what the start of this is we're doing a 14 bolt out of a 05 chevrolet 2500 hd truck and then the front will be a 78 model Ford high pinion snow fighter Dana 60. So we're going to get started on this. We've already, you can see, we've already tore stuff apart. I had to tear it apart to order parts to see if I had a, because we're doing a Grizzly, uh, Yukon Grizzly locker front and rear. Um, same thing we had in the other one. So, but I had to see if it had a locker in it or open carrier so I know what I need to carry. And then uh, my buddy Zach, he wanted to go and tear stuff apart. So that's where we are now. <laughs> got it tore down. He got all my parts separated. Got the backing plates pulled because we're doing away the part oh, break yeah. stuff on it. But uh, we're going to start cutting some brackets off and get this game going. We'll have parts here. Can't keep coming in. We got them all ordered. So we're going to get this underway. I say it. Oh, yeah, <laughs> well, what what's happening? What happened well, here, Elaine? This project <laughs> has really just snowballed. Okay. Because we went to cutting brackets off and trying to cut them out and blow it in their frame because the way all it was loaded together. It's not sheer where I'd slid my perch back. I don't like that. This has to cut out and redone. The back needs to be cut off and redone. So we fixing this to cut it right here or somewhere in this area when we measure and figure out. We're gonna cut it off and build a new back section. Do what now? <laughs> Cause I think it'll take less time to do that than to just to cut everything out and grind it down and fix what I got. So here goes nothing. <laughs> Nobody makes a back half kit to fit a tank and that I can get anytime soon. So I'm just gonna build my own. Okay. I mean, I ain't like I ain't got the stuff to do it. Yeah. If it works, it works. If it don't, what have I lost? A little time. So we'll cut it off and order some steel tomorrow and uh, start over. I believe in you, babe. It's hard to cut, what I want to know. It's a frame. <laughs> <laughs> we got a window we need a we're gonna need a better a better saws off for the this. Corded one. Yes. Jeep off right here and tube it out. You got a hammer? Yeah, I got a hammer. Come on. Get the uh, gasket over. It's got it spread. This P 
pinched at the top. No, it's pinched at the bottom right here. Is it? Yeah. Take, take the jack yeah. and a block of wood and jack back up on the back. Ain't no turning back now. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't no turning back now. Do lolly do lolly do. <laughs> What's with the face? Oh no face, no face. This was a bad decision. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Holy At least now you can say you built your own back half kit. <laughs> this is true. We've taken we've taken a turn. We've taken a big left, right. I don't know. <laughs> left turn, right turn, downhill. I think we're on a roller coaster right now. I'm not really sure about what we just done. I am. You're fixing to find out what we just done. <laughs> I just added to my headache. That's for sure. So what did you do? You. <laughs> I just cut the back part of my frame off. Grab your side. All right, you ready? Yeah. Oh my God. Well, you have a very, very hard time convincing people that what you're doing is right and that you're really smart. Ooh.